<laughs> and I think we're coming in live. Five. Four, five expos for one Paul, one M. Wow. Opposite on the other side. I Good job, that. Good job. I don't think I saw a single imp. Good job, D-Man, picking this up midstream. Zero had some technical difficulties, but appreciate him trying. And we're coming in with the second map. KOA versus Wapop. It's okay, Zero's computer is made out of bamboo. That explains most of the technical difficulties. But poor Brazilian, he tries his best. D-Man, I know GK runs a lot of close combat um, crossbows. I think this is going to work out for Wapo. Uh, depends where they put them, I suppose. Uh, if they get pushed by the Noids and they spread out well enough, then they might be able to get a crossfire on them. Seems like that was it. that's what they're trying to do. Wapo already picking out people with their crossbows. Yep, kind of really I think splitting really up good. into two groups as crossbows is one thing, but Paul is just all over the place. And surprise KOA hasn't tried to take advantage of that yet. They might not even know of the spread. You know, I've seen them do this before and it's always worked very well for them. They just get almost across the entire map and when the imp pushes one, he just runs away while the rest continually shoot in at the push. From all angles. Looks like Kerry's pushing out now. Next boys are just running up. Yep. Yeah, it looks kinda kinda indecisive by KOA. And the cav flanks him, nobody's watching that rear. Yeah, blood came Got a few there. Yeah, Wapaw's definitely Wapaw got uh, map control. Pretty good contain. There's not much KOA can do in good. Yeah, you're right, D-Man. Wapaw's got the whole map. Which isn't always a bad thing. It, it, it's kind of one of those situations, if KOA has a plan with where they're at, then that's fine. But if they just happen to get pushed there, then they're in a really bad spot. I'm okay sitting at the back of Ginger as long as I got a move or two um, that I want to do after that. So KOA is making a small push on the left side of Ginger. Cav comes in. Well, they've done a nice job containing them. I mean, if flags spawn, yeah. the KOA is stuck in there and one Wapak can run the flag while the rest contain them again and they just can't get out of Ginger, but... They already have them outnumbered, not a whole lot they can do from Ginger at this point. John's got about five projectiles flying in his head, so... Oof. I need two kills. I need two kills. I flew one projectile right in the Thatcher's head. I'd just like to say for the record, I totally called that before the match started. Good job, G. <laughs> then all the sneaky yeah. crossbow on the side. We'll get you your tarot card reading uh, shop set up soon. Dude, we're going in one nine hundred number. <laughs> so what do you think Kayway can do to answer this all expo spam? Really push before they set up so well. If you ball, if you ball up Imp and, and jump down immediately to the lower level, you might have a chance. But well, you need a calf yeah, to mop up a little bit. Much time to set up. Yeah, you're gonna have to bring Cav in some way or another. I mean, if you're confident enough that they're gonna do it again, you might just try all Cav. Looks like uh, Kaway dropped the archer, picked up a calf, and now they're all infantry. 
They're looking a bit more decisive as well. Yep. Well, I've already got two up in their spawn. Definitely taking the defensive stance. And KOA making a smart move, I think, pushing over to the flank. Yeah, it has the least angles. Not not as many chances of getting into crossfire. Just like I said, I hope they got somewhere to go after this. Guessing they'll just push right through spawn and flush out those archers. They're looking indecisive right now. They don't know where they want to shove them back up through the Yeah, they're really spread out. Here's the best chance they're going to get to push K away right now. They're balled up. It's hard to see that when you're all up though. Yeah, well, like KOA was thinking about a, a double back maneuver, which I think would have worked. They had Wapak coming in behind them, they double back into him and engage the melee. And they're all imps, so you gotta assume that's what, what they want to do. Uh, Joe picking up a kill. Oh, here comes the KOA from behind. Oh, you got it. This is a good situation for KOA, but they gotta win these battles quickly. The faster you kill, Cav, kill one Cav. man and get in the face of another crossbow, the better. Cav making all the difference there. Oh, Joe with the nasty TK. And he makes up for it. Oh god for another <laughs> TK for <laughs> KOA. <laughs> On the back of the side road now. Apostle has their heavy up, which could do a lot of damage. Oh, he's got no health now. Played by KOA. Good, good flank. They need more. Yeah. They need more moves like that to get them back in this competition. It's already down. A Let's see if Wapa changes up. Oh, less TKs. Less TKs so they can buy some armor. Yep, yeah, that too. I do like the. Uh, I do hope uh, they're getting a lot of throwing. Throwing will definitely help the situation. Looks like Thor tagged Thatcher. Oh, that's good. Okay, Way seems to be making the same move. Good plan. Got people watching their corners. That's really gotta, how you gotta work this. Looks like. Quite a few more of them moving in through graveyard this time. Uh, yeah, if they can work into the little call spawn and get those guys off the catwalk, that would help. Oh, they could, it's gonna be oh, hard they though. Could, they They're could make a, a good hit right now. Uh, well, that nobody's watching that call. KOA rear. Yep. And they all just about have spears, so I don't understand how you can let something like that happen. Yeah, and Wapa spawns a death trap. I think if they rolled in a little more decisively a little sooner, when there's only about three guys up there, it would have been a better move, but now they got about five or six guys up there. It's, it's oh, Blade with a nice save. That the Cav, the KOA might have a lot more trouble. Looks like KOA is also pushing the spawn. In here. Yeah, KOA can definitely, definitely benefit from uh, using one more. They can definitely get away with it. That way, the archer just can't run away when they get you know, engaged. Yep, and now they're just stuck chasing these guys around the map while three other people shoot at them. A great headshot. 
thing with Paul, I kind of admire with Paul because they they are probably one of the more unorthodox as far as strategies and the way they approach maps. They're definitely very cohesive, and that's a big bonus. But they always seem to just be in the right spot on the right. You need to be to be able to go so many crossbows. If, if you're not cohesive, you get picked up pretty easily. I agree they're being very cohesive, but to be honest, they're also being very niche, nichey. Um, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I, I feel like they're really just leveraging the crossbows. Using um, them as a clutch. Using yeah. Yeah, they're almost crutching off the crossbows, and they're doing it really well, and I'm not trying to take anything away from them, but it, it's definitely to where they're... Uh, it seems like they're just using the gimmick to uh, to get the win, which is definitely well within their right to do so. Alright, so Kiri dropped uh, Joe as the cab and picked him up as an archer now. Looks like they're going to push him right off the bat. They're rolling aggressive, this is favorite. Still think that's their best move, just push in before they set up. If you get all this in, that's kind of what you need to do. I think if you, right now, I think they're almost better off you not going up there and just keeping them up on that catwalk and then waiting for, waiting for Master. Just don't let them get the spread. Hey, wait, definitely get Oh, man, this picks a good shot on Joe. Always on a bad spot here. Stay away. Definitely don't think Wapa was ready for that. So you're gonna do the. This will. You kind of have to do the if you're gonna roll so many imps. You just kind of gotta go right at him. Make him uncomfortable. Make him react quickly. The crossbows will fold very easily if the imp push quickly before they get the crossfire. Even if they are Rodok crossbowmen, they can't stand up to Nordinf. I think the main problem when facing this is you have the indecision, then you get a couple of people picked off, and then you're also you're facing them. Anyway, okay, he's definitely got the numbers here, but they're dropping. Yeah, they're all spread out, not able to really support each other. Gotta get the, the the two fighting the crossbow and the cab. One of them's gotta get a spear out. Blade is once again through. Yeah, finally God forgets gets and the spears come out finally. That cow off a little bit. So she's making a that beautiful action. stand. They can't chase after that horse because he could just wander wherever he wants. Yeah, I mean they, they they just gotta they gotta be aware of the the cow, but they just gotta be gunning for the expo. Forgetting about that cow. It's deadly. They're fighting one v one versus it. And when you got spears like they do, it shouldn't be a problem. Use your tilde key. 2v2. They're, they're just launching hard. My goodness. My pop could have a clutch. They need this to tie this to help win this map. They need it real bad. Got a bit of a standoff here. He's got the spear. Godfrey's about a quarter health, and Blade's got over half. And Kway just forgetting about that cab and really, really paid for it. I don't understand how the cab was able to be so effective when they all have spears and they can just use their tilted key while they're while pursuing the cross. I think while uh, Kush ran down to the horns, the KOA should have trapped the horse in Gingerbread. 
This favors the imp. I mean, he's got to he's got to dismount and and raise the flag or. Risky move. I think we're all just holding our breath here. Okay, could have yep. been the death of it. Blade with a very nice clutch. Blade definitely had MVP status in that matchup there. Oh, definitely. Very dis uh, constructive criticism going on in spec chat. He and Kush worked very well together there, just weaving back and forth, hitting the imp. <laughs> Looks like KOA needs to 4 0 this next match, this next round, next match, another round of the tournament. Definitely a lot of pressure on them. Right? I think they definitely could, if they can get it together, you know, come off of this, not with their heads down, but with the expectancy to win. You think they're going to try to know to you what has on the strategy again? I would think so. Almost everybody on their teams, you know, for crossbow. If they do, how do you think Wapaz is going to counter it? Only tell. Only tell. I'm expecting them to go two or three cav. They like to do that every once in a while, from what yeah. I know. I could see, uh, yeah, I could see that. one infantry, I mean one archer, maybe two cav and just mastiff. Yeah, having more than Paul. one cav would be a good way of countering all those crossbows. I think what Paul would do good to kind of come out with a lot of imp and a couple cav and just go right at him real quick. CKOA strategy here. One crap. Four, uh, five, four imp, five imp, one archer, and probably two blade on a horse. Overall, Paul. Um, KOA is going very mixed. Two crossbow, three. Looks like it's going to be a reset. <laughs> Did not see that reset coming at all. Uh, Godfrey didn't spawn for Kerry. Looks like Wapa went 6 and 1, infant cap. Looks like KOA feels comfortable mailing. They're, uh, they're not too worried about getting in the grind with um, Wapa. Classic North Town. I don't know if I'd feel so comfortable going against Wapa with, with her. There's no one to be very cohesive together and fight really well together. These three imps could get cut off pretty easily here, Ginger. Yeah, they're definitely separated from the crossbows. I think actually if the power would have crushed that a little bit, they, they could have taken the three down very easily. God, Fu and Bravo picking up nice kills. Well, I'm definitely more prepared for the Cav. Blade sneaking in behind God, Fu there. Slow things just great. not working. Not working for Braveheart there, he was trying everything. So, uh, this match is over if, if uh, Paul wins around, right? That is correct. Right. That, ki that team kill really hurt. And that would be it.
KOA is out and WAPA advances to semifinals to the tunnel. Yep, officially that's match. I hope they play it out regardless. Eh, kind of pointless too. here just treated it like it was over in, in K-Way. Figured it was still going. So they just kind of well, just charged in. Uh, do points still matter? Because if they tie this, then um, points still don't matter point. at this point. Nope. No, this is like some time, isn't it? As soon as uh, uh, we'll Paul picked up that last round on as a as no words, then it was over. And nothing really consequential could happen after that. Won't even be a scorecard count at the end of the tournament. Either. Uh, no. The only reason um, map points were impl implemented were uh, to break ties for seeding. West Knights and the guards on duty actually had identical win loss records, but West Knights had one more map, uh, map point. So that's why they're sitting in the first seat and not the second. And this was kind of, I guess, expected. You know, you had the uh, higher seed Wapas coming in. I mean, they were definitely tight and they were together all night. Um, just really seemed like they knew how they wanted to play the maps. Definitely been practicing a lot. I've noticed. I've watched a few other practices. Definitely think they put more heart into the game than KOA has ever thought. I feel like KOA is one of the more underachieving uh, clans when it comes to how much talent they actually have and, and, and their success in competitive games. They got a lot of very beastly players on that team. Who do they advance to fight now? Good uh, good good plays on duty. Play odd. Yeah. Appreciate D Man picking up the stream. Not a problem. Midway that through. Is awesome. through. Mm. Okay, just that's it. I'm gonna end it here. Say that's uh, that's a wrap.